Welcome to today's session. Today we are looking at the course outline for human pathology. So we have six major topics uh, which have been spread over 16 weeks. So the first uh, topic we have week one to week two where we'll be looking at introduction to human pathology. And on introduction to human pathology, we'll be looking at the um, a definition of human pathology. We'll be looking at the scope and purpose of human pathology and lastly the importance of studying human pathology and its significance to the nursing profession. In week two we'll still be looking at um, the basics for human pathology but in this case we'll narrow down to subspecialties in pathology so we shall explore diverse subspecialties. We shall look at the background, historical background, the evolution of pathology as a field and we'll be able to define the common terms in pathology like disease, pathologist, health and wellness, all these. And lastly, we'll have a reflective quiz on the first topic. Okay, and that will be the end of the first topic. The second topic will be about basic physiological mechanisms leading to a diseased state. So in this case, we'll look at the physiological mechanism. We'll also look at the basic concept of cellular injury. How cells respond to injury. Things like atrophy, uh, hypertrophy, hyperplasia, dysplasia, and metaplasia will be looked at closely to better understand. Remember, we'll be having a quiz over the same just to test our knowledge on cell injury. For week four, we'll be reviewing um, physiological mechanisms and having case studies just to see how to apply cellular uh, injury concepts to real cases. For topic number next, we'll be looking at now the clinical characteristics of a deceased state and the major state, the major organs will be looking at the major vital organs, including the liver, the brain, the kidney, the lungs, you know, all of these kid, all of these organs. So here we'll be looking at this important concept of the inflammation. So we'll seeing, we'll be looking at what inflammation is, what is the difference between acute and chronic inflammation, what are the systemic effects of inflammation. We'll also be looking at the mediators of inflammatory response, okay, and how to assess what are the cardinal signs of inflammation, guys. On week six, we'll be looking at wound healing and edema formation. Describe the process of edema formation, okay? So describe the different steps of wound healing, okay? All this we'll be looking at, including a concept stud analysis on how these concepts can be applied. Next, we'll be looking at pathological processes that normally affect selected organs, okay? And in this case, we'll be uh, focusing on pathogenesis and cyst. What, are, what is a cyst? What are the different types of cyst? What, uh, how is a cyst formed? And so on and so forth. And then lastly, we'll be looking at the rat. Okay, random assessment is just to test our knowledge on this topic. Q8, we'll be looking at neoplasms. And neoplasms here, we want to differentiate between benign and malignant. Okay. Okay, guys, so a link will be popping up on the different uh, differences between benign tumors and malignant tumors. So we we'll want to know uh, how a neoplasm um, is normally, uh, normally develops. We'll also be looking at the different types of staging and grading. What is the difference between staging and grading, guys? You can follow up the link for more differences, okay? And we'll also be looking at other stages from stage one up to stage four cancer and how it's done. Next, we'll be looking at genetic disorders. And genetic disorders, we are interested with the genetic principles and mutations. And genetic disorders, gene mutations. Multiple factorial inheritance, genetic disorders, cytogenic disorders, and selected dis uh, genetic disorders, guys. Lastly, we'll be looking at systems. Systemic pathology and systemic pathology will be interested in the cardiovascular system, more so the hypertension. We'll want to see what's the difference between hypertension emergency and urgency, guys. Guys, take a time and look at this course outline. You can also get a final copy in the description section and also attempt the pre-test for the course in the description section. 
Thank you so much and let's meet in class.